So guys, V and Nengi had their first fight yesterday. Maybe I'm going crazy. What, Nengi, did you do that to your own group too? I, I don't know, maybe you did. Or well, am I lying? When you two go and talk in one corner. No, I almost like for you. I beg, you're rehearsing with the enemy. You're saying that, that's how we're going to win. Once again, welcome back to Lex Media, where we serve with hot juice from the Big Brother Ninja Show. So today is going to be all about V and Nengi because they had their first fight yesterday. Like even me, I was like, wow. So these girls actually had some things in their mind. Well, it's good that they started letting it out yesterday. So it all started when they were given their Patricia tax to carry out yesterday, and they were grouped into different groups. V, Lekon, and Ozo were in a particular group, while Nengi, Neo, and the rest were in other groups too. So the fact that Ozo was always sneaking out, like he would leave their group when they are trying to rehearse or perfect their task and go and see Nengi got V and they come pissed off. V was so obsessed. She was like, what kind of nonsense is this? This thing that Ozo is doing is not nice. How can we try? We are like, we're rehearsing and that's the time that Ozo knows that he will leave the group to go and meet Nengi or something. But Leko was now trying to console V, say, telling V that she just calm down, the last class will be all right. But he does not just understand the fact that, like, he does not understand why they cannot stay away from each other for one hour. And V was not like, yes, every day they are always together. And during the daytime, they are always together. But at night, they sleep on different beds. And she doesn't even understand that kind of relationship. So after that was over, Neo decided to go and meet his babe. And I like, let them just talk out, talk, talk, and spend some time together. And then he came from nowhere. And then he was like, hmm, Neo, instead of you to come to with rehearse, now you're with V. That kind of thing, like you left your teammate, your group, and now you're with another teammate spending time instead of to rehearse. And V now lashed it out at her, saying that, Oh wow, really? Like, is this a deja vu or something? She was not referring to Ozo and Nengi at the same time. Ozo, did you do something like this? Nengi, yeah, yeah, did you do something like this? Yes, I remember you did. So she was indirectly telling them that they did the same thing when they were rehearsing. Recall that Ozo left his group, his teammates, to go and meet Nengi and then that kind of thing. So, well, Nengi was trying to tell Neo that, Neo, you're the reason why we failed because you were not, you were not paying attention, you were always leaving to go and see your baby. V was trying to tell them that they did the same thing and that's the reason why they failed. I never knew that my dear sister Nengi was angry. Like Nengi took it to heart. Like I don't, I know, I don't know, I don't even have what to say. But I know that girls, we have this kind of feeling. Like we know when someone is actually angry at us, even if V was sarcastic and all, because she was talking to Neo and also telling Neo and also that she just feel that that was not just sarcasm. Like there was more to it. But also was she trying to tell that she should not reason it. She just leave it and develop. But she know that she was still saying that V V V V said over said. Like he was not supposed to say that. Like she she did not like what V said. That didn't Neo um, notice it or something. Neo was like eh, he noticed that he did not expect V to just bust out like that and Nengi and over. But Nengi was not still convinced. She just knew that there was something wrong. So later that day, when Neo and Lekon decided to speak to V, V was not like she's angry at Nengi. Like, it's not today something. The matter don't this since. 100% because I've been pissed from before. So, her chance at me was not the, the best thing to do today. Because I'm so irritated with what happened with myself. 100%. It's not the don't touch my shit without asking again before it comes to me. Oh, I'm after. That there was a time Nengi took her stuff to use without her permission, as if that was not enough. Nengi did not take her permission before she used her stuff. Nengi also broke it. And then when she approached Nengi, I was like, Nengi, what, what, why did you use my stuff and then you broke it? Nengi was like, don't worry, I'll give, you an, I'll give you a new one. I'll give you another one. But she was like, I don't understand. It's not the matter of giving me another one. You're, you use my stuff, you're supposed to take care of it. And Nengi was not, she, like, she was not sorry for what she did to V. And then since then, V was not happy. Like, she has not been happy with Nengi. She has just been treading with caution and the rest. So today, she just sees the opportunity to lash it out at Nengi and give her Nengi hot, hot, hot. So that was the reason why she lashed out at Nengi. So guys, back to the Patricia tasks yesterday. The housemates were asked to carry out an advert for the company and the task was in two stages. And for this first stage, Kidwaya and his teammates, Chikiti and Neo won, like they emerged as the winners and they, they won $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. And for the second stage, they reshuffled them again and it was Kidwaya, Dorothy and V and they also won the same amount. Like I was so happy for Kidwaya, I was like, wow. Could it be that it was because of Erica? That's, like since Erica left, Kidwai has been standing out, like he has been doing well. So could it be that it was Erica that was blocking his shine or something? I'm so happy for Kidwai, even though he doesn't need all the money and everything, but I'm happy that he's really standing out now. So guys, what did you have to say about Kidwai's success and all? Oh, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're a first time viewer, do not forget to subscribe to Lex Media and also hit on the bell icon so you can get new notifications whenever a new G is dropped. So stay tuned to Lex Media and stay safe.